Revolutionary, frontline standing, solitary, mind state, kind of scary. Take a deep breath, take a deep breath and put me on the front line. Put me on the front line. Put me on the front line. What's going on, guys? Just want to talk to you a little bit today about some nutrition, you know, proper nutrition why it's important for a power lifter trying to perform at a high level in the smaller weight classes. Meaning, the bigger the weight class, in order to be able to maintain that size, you're not gonna be able to eat as much clean food as you, you would want, so to speak. You gotta get those calories in in order to maintain that size and there's just no way um, you're gonna be able to eat good, clean food in order to stay above 270, 280, you know, so a lot of times you do got to throw in those, those dirtier meals, but for the lighter weight class guys, you know, proper nutrition is, is huge, it's key to maintaining a lean body composition for your weight class, because the leaner you are, and the bigger you are in your weight class, typically the better you're going to perform, because the leaner you are, and the more muscle mass you have, you're usually gonna be able to move more weight, right? Bigger muscle moves more weight over time if you train it properly to get it stronger. So if you're leaner, you're able to carry on a little bit more size, a little bit more muscle than a guy who has a lot more fat on him, right? Fat doesn't really contract anyways. It does help build better leverages, that's for sure. So, you know, whenever you're doing your nutrition stuff and if you're getting too lean and your waist is getting too narrow, that may affect your squat and that may affect your deadlift and that may affect your bench. So you want those are those are some of the key indicators you want to look for is you want to be able to maintain a certain level of leanness while not necessarily getting an extremely small waist. If you ever look at any of the great power lifters, the really strong squatters, they have a pretty thick waist and that can come from heavy ab training, that can come from uh, bigger meals, so implementing maybe cheat meals to kind of expand your stomach a little bit so that way you have a bigger bigger abdominal wall things like that will help out a lot um, and it's not the most common thing but I say if you're doing 90% of your meals correctly and you're focusing on kind of tightening things up you can do cheap meals here and there you know with the intent that you're just trying to keep you know your your waistline not so mainstream you know for me it's it's all about in the off season after the shows, I'll do a little mini diet so that way I can get rid of some excess body fat. But come meat prep time, I wanna be the biggest and strongest I can be and not really caring too much about how lean I am, but caring more about high quality foods going into my, into my digestion system. Cause I feel like the higher the quality of the food, the higher the performance is gonna be. You know, so the higher the performance, you're gonna feel better the higher quality of the food, I mean, you're going to feel better, you're going to perform better, you know, you're going to be able to ex ex exude more energy and more controlled energy over time, and if you're eating crap and you're trying to get into a weight class, and what I see a lot of times is somebody will eat something bad, and then they'll have to diet for a couple days just to maintain to their weight class, so what that's doing is that's screwing yourself for those next couple of workouts because you're in a calorie deficit. So you want to maintain a steady influx of calories and trying to increase them as the meat gets closer so that you're able to kind of recover from the heavier uh, weight training that you're doing and trying to minimize fatigue and minimize the volume damage. And you can do that with um, eating good high calorie foods so that you're able to recover better. So focusing in the off season on maybe getting a little bit leaner is great because your volume work's going to be up. But around meat prep time, you want your calorie count at the highest level it can be um, all the way up to about you know two weeks out one week out unless you're cutting weight then you got to watch all that stuff but as long as you're able to stay within you know 10 pounds of your weight class which is kind of why it's crucial to diet and get rid of some of the fat in the off season so as your meat gets closer you're a little bit lighter so you can get those calories in you know you don't want to go into a meat and get done and then eat like crap right afterwards it kind of defeats the purpose 
you want to lean up a little bit, go into your hypertrophy phase, and then as the weights get heavier and the meat gets closer, up those calories, get a little bit bigger, get a little bit thicker, get a little bit fatter. Hope you guys kind of take something from that. You know, high calories, big calories, big total. Until next time, guys, take care. Test it.